I see you. I hear you over there. You sound angry. Oh wow, you are a big boy! You are one big boy! I am treading dangerously close. But I have to. Because I need to get in this game. Yep, I know you're here. I know you're here, Mr. Wendigo. Come on up. Come on up. I know you're here. You're mad because I'm near your cave. I get it. I'd be mad if someone was near my cave, too. Let me see if I can find an alternative route in. I think there's only two routes into that cave. I think it's from that entrance and diving down the, the deep hole. Oh, he left the cave. Oh, he's not in that cave anymore. This is our opportunity to hop back in. Let's go. Let's take it. He's wandering towards camera four, which means camera five's a go. Which also means there's got to be another exit to this. So that's the that's the camera I was looking at. Ow, okay, never mind. Let's just dive in. I don't care. I think he's coming back to camera five. Let's go deeper. All right, we got to branch out a little bit to where we haven't been before. Ow. How do I keep injuring myself on these small little baby falls? So is there anything else about this tome that I need to see? Yeah, because, like, this is the tome. There's got to be something else I can touch around here, right? I have nothing to write with, but it, the game's given me nothing to write with. Oh, there's some more runes. Now I have seven, and that's tome number three, and I've only found two of them, which means somewhere around here... Why is there a deer underground? Hold up. How did you wander down here? Basically, that means somewhere around here is another tome. Hello, deer. No idea how you ended up down here, but you know what? You'll make a fine meal. I don't know if that attracts him or not, but it might. And I'm fully ready to prepare to face the consequences of that shot. I haven't gotten updated that he's moving somewhere. Which makes me a little bit nervous. So he could be anywhere now. Hey, why do I hear these noises right down in here? It sounds like it's coming from here. Where are you? Don't see anything down here. Why does it sound like someone's playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? Yeah, there's nothing else here, but there's something back over there. I don't know if it's above ground or below. It, sound, it sounded below ground. Okay, there's something in this area. And there's nothing above me. I know that. I have no idea what that noise is. There's got to be a kid alive down here somewhere. This game is interesting. I'm liking this game. I don't know if I kill the Wendigo with bullets or with rituals. I mean, I've got a bunch of bullets. I can just keep shooting him. Maybe eventually it'll work. But I can't find many more crates. You see me? Oh, very lovely of you to tell me that. Thank you, Mr. Wendigo. He's here. I hear him. Yep, he's in here. Oh, boy. Okay, he's coming this way. Yep, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, I know this area is a dead end. Okay, I can see in the dark a little bit. I don't know how I can, but I can. He's in this area. I tried to get out before he got here. It was not successful. So here's the only thing I can do. Leave. Don't hear him anymore. So there's a chance he's not in this cave right now. I, I see you. Okay. I 
I see you. I hear you over there. You sound angry. Oh wow, you are a big boy. You are one big boy. Come on, come on. Okay, I think I got him. What is that? Um. Okay, don't attack me again. But, uh. Now. I'm not one who usually notices a lot of details. But, uh. Anyone want to explain this one to me? This right here. This just feels pretty new. Did he, like, build a whole roller coaster overnight? I mean, that's pretty impressive. I'll give it to you, Mr. Wendigo. That is a very impressive feat. Anything with this merry-go-round? I want to try and explore a little bit of each one first. This is kind of cool. Yeah, I do not recall anything about this place. I've been through here before. Definitely was not here. This is pretty cool. I was not expecting this twist. Makes sense now with the carnival music. I was in this area and I was hearing carnival music. So I guess this spawned in one night. I don't see a way onto the coaster unless I go on the Ferris wheel. Well, let's get on. I've got nothing better to do. All right, camera two, motion. I'm gonna ride this nice and slowly up. I don't know, was this supposed to spawn in? Is this like some glitch? I have no idea, but this, this Ferris wheel moves so slowly. I could hop off and jump on the coaster track, but that's probably not a smart idea. You know, the higher I get on this Ferris wheel, the more I start to question whether or not I should have actually gotten on this thing. It's pretty sweet because I got a sweet view. Like, look at this view. So while I'm here, let's let's contemplate. I found two books. I have 17 torn pages. I don't know if I need that many, so I'm gonna drop one. I need something to write with. My thoughts are pencils. I haven't found one. That'd be a very small object to find. I know you can write with blood. Have not been able to drain blood from the hanging guy. I know I could write with charcoal. I know you could do charcoal prints, so maybe... That stove back in the starting cabin. There are two campfires. But those are hot. I also didn't look at them, so maybe that's where I need to go. That's the only place I can think of. Unless this carnival has something. Which I'm very much thinking it doesn't. It's taken me like five minutes to get to this peak. It's been insane. I also need five runes. Because I know there's 12. I counted 12 out. Was I wrong? I need those so I can put them in the slots. I don't know. Do I need to carve them beforehand? Or do I carve them after the fact? So I think what we need to do is the only idea I have is to go back up to this area. I hear heartbeats. Yeah, that's the only place I can think of getting charcoal. There he is. Good thing I was up here. He couldn't get to me. <laughs> All right, so heartbeats means the Wendigo is close. There he is. That's my other one. You coming into the cave? Come on in, bud. Yeah, go on in. Woo! All right, set it up like that. All right, I have wasted an entire day up here. What's that over there? I need to go that direction because I need to cut straight through okay, he's coming out if you head over to that light right there it's so dark yeah it is child isn't it kind of sucks that you died right he's coming this way I see him does this game have bullet fall that bullet drop I tried hitting him did not work ok 
Okay, it's not working. I'm going to stop wasting ammo. All right, well, this was a waste of a day. I don't know what you think about it, but I know it was a waste. Okay, he's around here. There he is. Oh, this is no good. Probably good I'm up here, though. As he... He can't necessarily touch me while I'm up in the air. It's a very good thing. Come on, I need to get him out of here. Get out of here, Wendigo. I need you to leave. I think his tracking's trying to get to me right now. And it can't figure out how to get to me because I'm in the air. Okay, somewhere near the cave. Well, I got the chance. Let's jump. Let's go. The only idea I have to get more runes is to go check out that cave by the cabin. And charcoal's the only thing I can think of that I could write with. And the only place I can think of charcoal is the stove, the hearth in the cabin, and the two campfires that are around. But they're both lit, so I don't know how I'd get charcoal from them. The cabin's just gone. All right, solid. Um, Love that for me. I swear the cabin was here last night. I left to go hunting and came back and it's gone. I swear I'm not crazy or am I? There's another gun, but I can't take it. Can't even take ammo. You are not crazy. I thought this game had glitched. No, it hadn't. The cabin just goes away. Oh yeah, campfire. That was the only idea I had. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to grab as much charcoal as I want because screw that. That was stupid. Can't believe I had to look at a fire for charcoal. That was, that, that makes me mad. That makes me annoyed. Could have had this to extract books and stuff. All right. Hey, when to go cave again? How are we doing in here? Are we partying it up? I want to take a look around and see if there's any more runes. All right, symbol inscription number two. Okay, so now if I make another one, I already have this transcription. All right, so that's only three of them. Huh. And there are no more runes in here. And I don't know where number one is because this is book number two. So let's go find the other tome I know of. Based off the runes we got, I think I have to do a ritual. Now, the problem is I only have seven, and it looks like I need 12 total, which I don't like. But you know what? We'll try it. We'll try and find five more, see what I can get. And you know what? If there aren't any more, that's okay. We'll go take care of that. All right, yeah, I've got more, so I need to find five more. Where's the last book? Hmm. It's going to have the other five runes, I believe. So let's go find that. I don't believe that the runes or that book is in this cave. I've searched this cave up and down multiple times. I've had no luck. So I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head over to the ritual spot. And we'll branch out from there. I've only been there once. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, I can light the fire. Ritual's not prepared yet. Okay. Well, let's put down some tomes. All right, I'm out. So there's got to be... We found this weird old book called Anastasi Vo Tome Volume 1. The symbols inside seem to be related to the runes. We gathered a page from the old notebook and some charcoal from a campfire and created a charcoal rubbing of the runes inside. All right. Oh, well, there's two runes. There's two more. Which gives me a total of four. Where the... Is there, do you have a fifth rune? Do I have to go find that? That's going to be very annoying if I have to go find that. Oh, I, I have to go find it. Do I just interact? Oh, I just interact. Okay. Okay. 
Which tells me I need one more rune. Which I don't believe is here. So where would that last rune be? Oh, there it is. Okay, glad I looked. Oh. Okay. Do I like this? The beast is not in position. Alright, I need to lure the Wendigo over, I guess. Oh! Hello! What what is this? You coming over with Mr. Wendigo? You want you want a piece of this? Let's see if I can lure him over. Okay. He's running. He's back in his cave and he's just running around down there. Okay, let's go. Yep, come on. Backpedaling. Let's go. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, come on. Don't run away from me. You get back over here, Wendigo. You get butt- You get your butt back over here, mister. I don't see him. I think there's a deer stuck over here, so... Oh. Cameras. Don't know if he disabled some of mine. Hey, come on. There you are. Come on, Mr. Wendigo. I just need you to come with me and answer a few questions. Come on. All right, come on. Yes, yes. Come after me. Come on. Yes, come, come. Yes, come here. No, don't run away from me. All right, I guess we're going to plan B, which is meat trail. I don't know where the Wendigo went. But he seems to have been running around in this area. And the carnival's gone. Love that. There's still meat over here in this trap. Give me that meat. He's going back into his cave. Camera 10. You coming at me? No, you're over there. Okay, what's the line you're doing? Yeah, come towards me. Oh no, Mr. Wendigo. Are you just gonna run away from me? You really gonna do that, you lame boy? You get back over here. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Who do you think I'm talking to? Hey, you get your butt back out here this instant, mister. Mister, you get your butt back out here. Where do you think you went off to? Yeah, you get your butt back out here. Come on. Come on, get your butt back out here. Where are you going? Why, why are you just flying through me? You get your butt back over here. No, you don't get to run away from me. I run away from you. You get back over here. You're getting really stuck up on this rock here. Hey, he's stuck trying to chase after something. I may have glitched him out. Which is very unfortunate. Especially if I did. Unless there's like something this way. There might be. I may have glitched him by shooting him while I was on the carnival wheel. May not have been supposed to do that. Might be my bad. But I'm just double checking up here if there's like a piece of meat I left that he might be tracking towards automatically. That's the only thing I can think of. Yes, there is a piece of meat. Maybe if I pick this piece of meat up, it'll fix him. Maybe that fixed him. I hope it did. 
There's some movement on camera five. Ten. ten. Coming up this way now. Finally, thank you. I think I may have fixed him. I'm putting tons of meat down for you. All right, let's see. Don't see him. Oh, you do not go walking back down that hill. You come back up here right now. You get your when to go butt back up here. Don't make me say the word. I really don't want to. I will say it though. Oh, you are walking away from the wrong guy here, pal. You get your butt back over here. This is the hardest lure I've ever had to do. Like, what do you want me to do, game? My guy's just not chasing me. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to actually chase me now? I'll even run along all the paths for you. Yeah. How about that? I'll just backpedal my way to victory. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Ow, okay, that actually hurt a little bit. Yeah, keep that bloodthirst going. Yeah, keep that bloodthirst going. I like that. Okay, maybe a little too bloodthirsty. Ow, okay, maybe a little too bloodthirsty. Ow, okay. Okay, do not like that. Ooh, go down the hill. Don't take damage. Jump. Jump. Glitch my way through here. Run my way around. Go over. Get you in here. Okay, go in. Go in. Go in. Light the fire. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I get you? Was that it? Did I get you? I think I may have done it. I think we may have done it. Yes. Die, you foul beast. Yes. Oh my gosh, he almost got me there at the end. Oh, descend into the flames, you loser. Yeah, look at those. Look at those jaws. Nothing. Alright, well that was pleasant. Alright, now do I just like walk away? Okay. Well, we beat the Wendigo. Is there an after story? As the smoke of the burning Wendigo billows into the air, you feel a freedom placed upon you, and you sense that those who came before are finally at peace. As the fire dulls, you see a ghostly figure step out of the flames and approach you. Hmm? You freed me from the monster I became. Thank you. So I released the Wendigo's spirit? I went out searching for my two girls and lost my way in this cursed forest. Eventually, I found one of my children down by the stream. She had broken her leg and was slumped up against a tree stump. No sign of her sister. I saw a skeleton when I was running from... That was slumped up against a tree. She wouldn't wake up. I sat with her for days and days. I'm not proud of what I did, but I was desperate and it's what she would have wanted. What did you do? How did you become this monster? Thank you for freeing me. We can now be at peace together. Upon returning to the mother, you inform her of what happened to her children and husband. They're all dead. 
At first she is horrified, but then she thanks you for saving her husband from the monster he had become. And she is pleased she now has closure and she can move on. That's not how you usually react when you know your children are dead. And your husband became a giant Wendigo monster. It's, that's not normal. Okay. Well, that was a, that was a fun game. Oh, continue. Why am I continuing now? Um, is there something I have to do now? Anyway, I enjoyed this game. Out of the three, because I'm ranking it with Bigfoot, Skinwalker Hunt, and this game, this one's probably the most story-driven, but it's also my least favorite. It's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. And I can see how it would be fun. It was just confusing figuring out what I had to do. A lot of good lore. Very fun, very creepy. But it was the least straightforward. The other two, you know what your goal is. You kill the monster. This one, you have to do some weird stuff. I'm still going to try the other level. But I enjoyed this. It was fun once I figured out what I had to do. And it had its very creepy moments. And also, I don't understand what was up with that carnival. That carnival came and then it disappeared. I have no idea what that was about. I'm not really sure what was going on, but we figured it out and we got our way through. So, hey, if you enjoyed it, go ahead, leave a like down below, leave a comment, and I invite you to subscribe so you can see when the next episode of Folklore Hunter comes out. And hey, if you haven't seen my other two, Bigfoot or Skinwalker Hunt, and you're wondering, hey, what are those games about? I invite you. I'll put a link up at the end screen, so check those out. But anyway, this is Trousy. Out.